Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Modlog episode with me, FS Family Yard Dog. Just to start off, I'd just like to say thanks for the support on the channel, and I apologise for if my voice sounds a little bit funny. Um, I've been a little bit ill over the last few weeks, so uh, yeah, I had a bit of a sore throat, so if it sounds a little bit weird, that's it. But I still want to bring you videos. So today we have the Kenworth T800 V1. It is fresh off FS UK at, from the end of last week. So... As you can see, you can get it in a range of different colours. Um, I'll just have a little look in the shop first. So is it in the Kenworth section here? Um, Kenworth T800 Triaxle. It'll cost £250,000 to purchase straight up. Which is fair enough for the large truck compared to the other trucks in game. It is worth the money and it's uh, priced at the right price. Not, not too expensive, not too cheap. It'll cost you £65 maintenance per day, which is fairly good for a truck that size, and has a max power of 510, which is a lot. And as it says at the bottom, the ultimate workhorse, um, which it definitely will be, with 510 horsepower. So I'll pop over to this grey one over here. So first of all, it has such nice textures. I mean, I really enjoy the glossy textures. And uh, of course, you've got the, all the little fire extinguisher stickers there. That is a pretty much almost readable warning on there and you've got all the uh, little warning stickers here and again on the top here so I'll have a quick check for clip around the model first um, a lovely grill there a high definition looks really nice so there's no clip and even on the back of this truck there is no clip um, on the hookup section which is quite common in truck mods um, you can see the little hydraulics there and the uh, cushion suspension airbags. Very nice mod. One thing you may have noticed, um, I'm bouncing about a little bit. One thing you may have noticed whilst walking around, sometimes, uh, there you go, at the wrong angle, it goes like a little bit of a brown tinge. Um, obviously, the lighter colours, it comes out a little bit worse. I think that's just a little texture problem, although this is clean mod in the log. Um, that's just something to bear in mind. It's less so when you're actually driving it, more when you're walking around. But um, I'll jump in. As you can see, um, we've got the particle system, sort of the heat coming out of the two uh, stack exhausts there. And uh, the two trucks over there are hooked up to the crampy and the obviously the little uh, agri-liner trailer with this little hitch on the back here so they both do work which is quite nice to see as uh, it's a nice versatile truck especially with the agri liners you could start a, a daisy chain um, for the uh, road trains so I'm going to pop inside cab now and inside is very nice you've got the working gauge gauges with the uh, speedos and rpms and of course your animated steering wheel and we've got you know classic uh, massive American Kenworth uh, dials along there, you've got CB radio along with your lunchbox and uh, I love tractor sticker on there and uh, you can a monster for when you get thirsty uh, I've got a little bit of a cushioned roof and cushioned back bit and they've really done a nice job in here with the textures I think it looks really nice um, one of my favourite truck um, interiors so far really enjoy that so back onto the outside we've got uh, multiple features on the keypad so keypad 7 is the engine brake on and off so you can use that when you're driving a boat um, keypad 9 is actually the tri-axle so as you can see the wheel close to the cab there on the back there is up and you can actually put that down and put that into use and you see that move down and you get a nice hydraulic sound with that as well which is a very nice feature and uh, actually does work as intended on real life um, so I quite like that um, keypad 6 is rear working lights and you've got sort of a blue tinge to that like an LED I quite like the uh, coloration on there um, keypad 5 is your high beams again you've got the blue which is uh, like a little bit of different change um, I quite enjoy the look of them especially at night it reminds you of the real light mods um, Keypad 4 is actually an in-cab light. Uh, you get those two little bobble lights on there moving about. And uh, shining here, which would look nice in the nighttime in-game. 
back out to the outside keep out eight are the strobe lights hopefully uh, that looks like a Christmas tree I'm sure that looks fantastic at night um, yeah I've got the lights on the front grill there so you got all your warning lights again nice little feature so as for hooking up to a trailer it all slots in nicely and if I pop out here you can see everything goes into the right place there's no like missing the uh, gap or anything like that same with all these other trailers I'll quickly jump over here and you see with the crampy trailer it works well as well as well as the agri liner here hooks in perfectly and uh, you get to see the different colours as well the red and red crampy looks quite nice I quite like that combination as well as the grey with grey so I'm going to give it a little drive down the road to show you guys what it's like and uh, I'll show you the horn as well so you've got a, a nice big truck horn and the uh, in cab is pleasure to drive it looks really nice and it feels quite nice to drive as well We've got a top speed of around 50 miles an hour. I'm going at 41 now, and uh, it's quite nice to handle. Uh, 51 down this small road might be a little bit, a uh, little bit fast, but um, definitely a nice mod to drive, and it does look the part on your farm. So using that extra engine brake you get a little hydraulic sound I don't know if you heard that um, which is very nice and um, it does stop your truck a lot faster than if you were to just use the normal brake might be handy if you especially if you're driving on those tight farms so you haven't got too much weight but I'm just gonna check that it does work compatibly with the trailer and um, we'll wrap up the episode So this truck is fully functional, the trailer just did dump um, and it did look uh, look like it should do, no problems there. So this truck is error free and uh, it does come with a washable skin so it does get dirty and you've got the adjustable wheels with the um, triaxle there which is very nice animation and you've got the beacon lights and lever levers and all the animations in cab so if you are looking for a Kenworth or a large truck for your farm I definitely recommend this truck it looks amazing it's got nice textures and it works perfectly with no log errors so I am quite fond of this one um, check this out on FSUK the link will be in the description as normal and uh, thank you for the support on the channel and viewing this video and if you fancy like downloading the map it's southwestern Norway and that will also be in the description that's from FSUK. If you fancy like checking out my edited map, that's also on FSUK. Um, thanks for watching and bye for now.